Um, the next fight, Jerry, is February 9th, up in Belfast in the Ulster Hall, um, fighting Fergal McCarty for the Irish, the Viking Irish title at Lightweight over 10 rounds. To be fair, it's probably the best camp I've ever I've prepped for so far. Um, just I've done everything by the book, literally everything's down to a T, everything's on target, my weight's flowing, my training's flowing, Jay is happy with me training, I am happy. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good fight. I'm looking forward to a good ten rounds out of them. To be fair, the two styles, I don't really know much about Fergal. I, I just know he's a he's a southpaw, he's an awkward southpaw. Um I am just a come forward fighter. You know what I mean I just wanna go for a war, but I'm gonna try to be a little bit technical this one. So I'm looking forward to him at the Hopefully, coming back into my old style that I used to be, that people really haven't seen on the on the pro scene, but which would have seen in the semi pro scene. So I'm looking forward to hopefully being able to bring that old style back out in me. To be crowned number one in the country, and then rank number six in the top sixteen in, the, in Europe. You know what I mean? Which is that's a dream come true for me, Jerry. Even for me to fight for a BOI Celtic title after what was a three fight, my tour fight, I boxed for a BOI Celtic title. And that was a dream come true. And to top that for an Irish title, now going into my fifth fight, and I'm two by two, records don't matter, you know what I mean? Records are for DJs, and the proof's on the paper. I've had two losses. <coughs> I've had a title, for, I've had a BOI Celtic title. And now I'm fighting for the, to be crowned number one in the country. It's gonna be this when I walk out to that ring. It's gonna be a dream come true, Jerry. You know what I mean? When you think of me, you just think of a warrior. You know what I mean? I just go for a war. As I said, people haven't seen the proper aggressive style of me of being trying to be technical hasn't really worked for me so I'm gonna bring it back to me all style now and everything's been going going well for prep. <laughs> my last fight Jesus where do we even start? It was a war. There was people weren't happy over the result but look there's nothing we can do about that, Jerry. You know what I mean? I said it in previous interviews. It's like if an OG goes in in football, you can't do anything about it. If the ref gives a penalty, you can't do anything about it. And the ref was the judge that night, and he obviously seen I landed the cleaner shots, and I can't change that decision, and Martin can't change that decision. As much as Martin's not happy, and I was disappointed about it, that I, I got out of jail with the fight, you know what I mean? And I know that, my, my team know that, you know what I mean? So, if the rematch comes, I'm not going to leave it to the... Like, obviously, I'm going to prove that I won the fight, the first one, you know what I mean? Uh, that one, uh, another controversy fight, where people are going, ah, Martin won it, Martin this. I want to be Carl Devney won that, you know what I mean? a lovely bloke, do you know what, Jerry? Me and Martin would be close. Yeah. I'd be on Facebook and I'm over Christmas, wishing him happy Christmas, asking him how trying's going, you know what I mean? <laughs> Martin's a good bloke, Martin talks, you know what I mean? Martin talks a very good talk and he can walk the walk, you know what I mean? So we He's the package, he sells a fight, and it's any, any fighter's dream to fight Martin because you know it's going to be an exciting fight, and you know it's going to be a big ticket seller because people are going to build a fight up. Have you seen that round zero we had? That was good crack, and we were serious in it. But yeah, we were outside talking, you know what I mean? And we'll always be mates, do you know what I mean? But you're not mates when you step in between them four ropes, everything goes out the door, you know what I mean? You hate each other for them eight weeks of training. And then the second that, that final bell goes, 
you're hugging each other, you're pointing each other the final the a point after the fight. I was chatting to Martin after the fight, you know what I mean? Obviously he wasn't happy and I wasn't too too delighted with myself either. So it wasn't a great conversation. But we as I said we've been texting each other on Facebook and back and forth messages over Christmas, you know, so me and Martin are cool. Yeah, there was a lot of people hate me and and still there's a lot of people hate me and my name's being broadcasted all over social media and I wanna fight Carl and this and that. You know what I mean? It's, it's it comes with it. If you lose some you win some, you know what I mean? It, it comes with the package. People have to remember, I can't do anything about the result. Do you know what I mean? And I can't change it. As much as I probably wanted to, because Martin wasn't happy, I I got out of jail. I I, I can't do anything about it. It's like a result in a football match. If the, the team gets a, a penalty, you, you can't do anything about it. Before me and Martin even left that ring in, in Good Council, we agreed to a rematch. We said, Jay said, look, you'll get your rematch. And Jay came over and goes, right, you have to rematch. And I went, happy days, I can, pro I can prove myself now, you know what I mean? So I'd be happy to prove myself whenever a rematch comes. But to be fair, for now, Jerry, all my focus is also on bringing that Irish title back to Dublin. It's Dublin versus Tyrone. It's North versus South. It's gonna be a good one, and it, it's not one to be missed. Like it's it hit it hit the Irish news up in Belfast today, so it's in the newspaper. Up in Belfast today it was in the newspaper down here two weeks ago in the Herald. So it's getting good publicity. It's constantly all over social media. So it is not it's not one to be missed. I was seven day one. I am never ever in a boring fight. I've always been in an exciting fight. No matter if if my opponent's a boring fighter, I'll still draw that in to be a, an exciting fight. People love my style of fighting and people want to see exciting fights. I always want to be in exciting fights, you know what I mean? And I always said I want to be in the biggest fights. And I think I've only ever had one boring fight, which was my debut. Obviously you're gonna have to fight a journey man to start off. I went straight into Lewis Ballingall and actually Lewis Ballingall is fighting for a... He's fighting Shelby, some bloke, Archie Shelby I think it is. He fights him on the 9th of March for a European title and I wish him all the best of luck. And then the following night then I fight for the Irish title. So, and that was for my second fight, you know what I mean? So, I fought good fighters and now Victor, Victor's obviously holds the title and he's looking to do a big fight now as well and then Martin gets the rematch so I'm constantly in big fights Jerry and that's what I want, I want the exciting fights I want the fights that people are on the edge of their chairs you know what I mean? In between 60 and 64 if my name's thrown in I'll go for a knock, you know what I mean? I want to be, as I said, exciting fights is all I want I'm not in this game for a long time. I'm in it for a good time to have good fights, you know what I mean? So, I want the best fights and I, I think I have the best management there. We'll get me good fights. And it's down on paper, you can see he's getting me good fights, you know what I mean? Two title fights and five fights? It's not known for, you know what I mean? I have two losses. There's blokes out there with winning records, uh, clean knockouts. They're screaming for title fights. I ain't getting them with two losses. I have a good management behind me. It's all about the quality in the fights. You knock over 10 nobodies, you stay a nobody. I fought four fights, I've got beaten in two. I'm in, three I'm in two title fights because they've been good names. They've all been unbeaten prospects. And now we're going into another unbeaten prospect, which is 9 0, you know? So I've, I've, I've only ever fought one journeyman. And to be fair, how can you motivate yourself in training camp for six to seven weeks to know? You're gonna go in and fight a Johnny man. You fight four rounds, he's gonna drop the third or fourth. You know what I mean? You don't want that. You wanna you wanna get the best potential of yourself, you know? So that's all you I want out myself and my team team want the best for me, you know, so and they'll do that for me. The crowd in the north are, are thinking Fergus gonna destroy me. You know what I mean? So they think if Fergus gonna kill me, he's not gonna know. They're looking at my record, ah, he's two and oh, he's a nobody. Trust me, I'm, I'm coming, I'm, I'm gonna be there for 10 rounds. I'm gonna, I'm not moving, you know what I mean? 
Victor hit me with the hardest shots. I just looked and moved forward. Martin hit me with the hardest shots. I looked and moved forward. Fergal hit me the hardest shots he has. I look and move forward. I won't move. Trust me. I'm there by 10 rounds. I'm prepared by 10. There's still tickets available. You can get me on Instagram. Uh, it's Carl underscore boxing underscore Kelly. Hit me up there for tickets, or you can hit me up on Facebook, uh, Carl Kelly, or you can give me a text. It's 085 741 5492. If you hit me up there on any of them three for, for tickets, I'll arrange to get someone out to you as soon as possible. But you need to get on to me ASAP because they're flying out. Look, Fergal, I'm not throwing shapes out or anything, but I'm there for 10 rounds. And it's going to be a 10 round fight. You won't get me out early. Trust me. <laughs>